Welcome back to Connecticut Style. Now, anyone who has been a maid or matron of honor knows that throwing a bridal shower can be pretty tough. Most people try to find a way to put together the perfect shower that represents the bride. I'm in the kitchen now with a foodie gen press errata. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. You are going to show us how to put together the perfect bridal shower. Yes, we have everything from cocktails, appetizers, fun desserts, an interactive station, party favors. And it's got always it all. so fun when you throw a party. Oh, thank you. Well, I think it's really important to recognize the guest of honor first of all so what we've done here is just that so even starting with the cocktail she has her very own glass something that stands out you can make it yourself I did that was just press on stickers and it's bigger than everybody else it's bigger well you, you have a lot of relatives to talk to so you need to kind of calm the nerves a little bit. <laughs> that's great but it was easy to just decorate the the champagne flute absolutely and there's a lot of things I have some fun things we could craft so a lot of do-it-yourself it actually helps you save money when you make these things and some interactive stations that you see that really help the guests. I think when you have something that the guests enjoy themselves, bridal mm -hmm. showers are fun, but and it should be about the bride, and it is, like I said, but you know, you're sitting there watching them open presents, and sometimes it's not as entertaining for everyone else. Right. So we want to have things like here, I have a cupcake bar I'll talk about, and we have this jewelry candy table, which is especially great if you have young kids, flower girls, and junior oh, brides. Oh, that's great. Um, we want to make it fun for everybody, not just for the maid of honor. Well, speaking of fun, you've kind of made a signature cocktail here. Yes. This is called the bubbly lemon, I call it, and it's uh, champagne, or you could use Prosecco, and I did lemon sorbet and limoncello. So especially now, this time of year, you want something light and refreshing. Okay. So this is just a perfect, very clean, good palate cleanser. Very nice. All right, should we move on to Appies here? Sure, absolutely. As you know, I love little bites. I think <laughs> especially when you are in charge of a party or when you are the guest of honor at a party, you want your hands free. Sure. Plus, if you want a cocktail in one hand and a drink in the other, <laughs> and you don't want anything that's sloppy or going to spill on you if you're going to be in a lot of photos. So what I've done here is a few actually different ethnic kind of takes on things. Um, you can either use something that represents the bride or the bride and groom's culture, okay. or perhaps where they're going on their honeymoon, or maybe I they met that. abroad. So I have here for the, the Greek side of things, um, mini spanakopita cups. So they're actually a lot healthier for you because they're not laden in butter. It's really just um, spinach and um, the little field cups that you can buy. And also next to it, I have stuffed mushrooms with pesto and sun-dried tomatoes. And in front of that on the left, I have little taco cups. And that's just a chip, a, a tortilla chip. Oh, scoopy. Yes, scoops, right? exactly. Okay. And I just filled them with, you can put ground beef in them or vegan ground beef, um, cheese, beans, salsa, guacamole, a little shredded lettuce. And in front of that are stuffed sausage cups for some of the meat eaters. Uh, it's basically a pizza dough. So they're like a pizza in a bite, but just a little bit easier to eat. Got it. All party. right. And let's uh, move on to the, the candy bar sure. here. Sure. So this is candy jewelry. And I don't care how old you are. This is so much Everyone fun. Everyone loves these Everybody necklaces, Everybody loves right? it. And even if you're not going to eat it, it's fun to wear for a little bit. But I did do this at a shower recently, and it was a big hit with kids of all ages. It was the, the mothers, the grandmothers, to the flower girls. So that's just something fun. And the rings, of course, because, you know, you're getting married and the engagement ring is a big focal yeah, point. Yeah, I don't have an engagement ring, so I'm going to borrow Ooh, this one. Put it on. It looks yep. delicious. It's lovely. <laughs> and it's, you can multitask. And I can eat it. That's great. <laughs> a little bit of both. Um, these here are cake pops. Cake pops are a really popular thing right now, so I've kind of put my own spin on them. And I've seen the bride and groom before. I created them my own way. I actually added a little veil. Oh, we're getting excited We're over falling here. in love. Oh, oh that was really the clever. Love over. <laughs> um, I put a little veil right here, and I've made them to look like your bridal party. Yeah. Oh, so, so you can, Design you your can colors design the colors. I've done them in all different colors, and I actually sell them on my site. That's so Jen dot com. Oh, that's easy then if you don't order. want to make them yourself. Exactly. Come find you. Exactly. <laughs> um, and over here, these are diamond ring cookies to kind of, as we said, that represent the engagement ring. And they are made. It's a sugar cookie with a sugar cookie dough. And these, remember these candies? Oh, the candies. Yeah. So that's actually what I used on here. And in the past, I've also used this as a table runner. Oh, that's a good idea. So you could idea. have a candy table runner. You could put a lot together on a poster board, and that's kind of a fun, colorful, little, too. colorful, and, and also interactive if people do want to eat them. And here we I have love this a cupcake idea. bar. So Design your own cupcakes. Exactly. And cupcakes, as I say, are kind of the little black dress of desserts <laughs> these days. They are kind of the basic, and then you can have you know, the, the crazy, and they are great for simple, or they're great for formal. So here you can dress it up any way you want. 
And here we have our food jewelry, our garnishes. Mm. So there's different sprinkles. You could do M&Ms, chocolate candy. You hollowed candy. these out so you can actually put the cherries right I in did. there, or whipped cream. So they're hollowed out because a filled cupcake is a lot of fun when you bite in and there's a surprise inside. Much better. So that's all done for you ready. You can offer different kinds of flavors. I have the Funfetti vanilla and chocolate. And then we have cherry pie filling, which is great in a chocolate cupcake, mm. like a black forest cake, whipped cream, chocolate pudding. So you can fill them and then you can decorate them with frosting. So you can make your own, which I do, and there's a recipe <laughs> on my site. But if you are crunched for time or you're doing a big spread like this, especially if you have a buffet line, these are great. You can get frosting in a can at the store, okay. and it kind of keeps the buffet line moving. Very good, too. and that brings us right into our favors. Absolutely. So these are really fun, too. Well, first of all, the cupcakes, everyone can take them home. So we have cupcake boxes that are little takeout boxes, and you can personalize them with the shower date and the bride's name on it. And here, these are little candy jar, or mason jars that you can put candy, or here I have baked goods waiting to be baked. What a great so idea. So this is, we have cookie mix, all layered and pretty, and a brownie mix, and you could do something with just the bride's name, or you could do maybe a family recipe, and then on the back of the tag, it explains what you have to do to make it. So if you add the wet ingredients, eggs or butter, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It is, and they can use a mason jar. They're a big thing right now, so you can use a mason jar for many other things after they think of you when they bake their bake. Sure. Bread. Now we have just about 30 seconds left. Sure. I know the mints have the save the dates on it, which is they great. They do. Idea. Just another reminder. And some conversation starters. It These looks are like. great. They're uh, fun little things you can make up. Questions about the bride and groom, trivia questions. So maybe that's a great way for guests to get to know each other and mingle. And here I have these little gems that I dust with edible glitter for the cupcakes as well. Very so. good. And before we go, we just want to mention uh, you're competing for the Taste of Homes Mrs. Holiday title. I would love is that? for you to go to my site. If you like the ideas you see here, you ain't seen nothing yet. There's lots <laughs> of stuff. So if you go to that'sajen.com, you could vote or Facebook and search Mrs. Holiday and search Jen Presserata. You can click on my video and vote for me there. I think we're going to do that, that Jen. Thank you so thank much you. for all Thanks the for ideas and for being here. And of course, more on WTNH.com. Up next, we're heading over to Stage 8, where the guys from the Dave Cardis Band are going to perform. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back.